Okay, I've rolled some white fondant into a ball and I've mixed it with a little bit of um, Tylos or um, Tylos powder and it'll just help it firm. So I'm just bringing it back because it's been sat there a couple of minutes um, and we're going to make the body of the Bichon. Okay. So just smoothing out any cracks um, with your hands. The heat from your hands will do that. Now remember these tutorials are for beginners. Okay. Um, it's a lovely rainy wet summer day. So I thought right make the Bichon today. Um, and that's what I'm going to do. So now I've smoothed it like that. I want to create the body shape so I'm going to make kind of a, a cone okay so place the ball in your hand and then moving it as you go turning just at this end we're going to kind of it's almost looking like a light bulb <laughs> um, but you just want to just gently narrow the neck because that's what we're trying to create at this point now make it a little bit longer than you would normally because when you sit it down it will gravity will push that down okay so with him being a puppy i'm going to kind of squat him anyway <laughs> and then i'm using my fingers to smooth out the body and at the back which is going to be his little derriere and his bottom sorry I hope you can see I'm just pushing that out ever so slightly can you see and I'm just pushing it down ever so slightly because I want him to have a little bum <laughs> okay as we call it in the UK and then at the front sorry just holding it and I'm just pushing upwards and what I'm creating here is um, a smoothness to it now the difference with this puppy um, is I'm going to add texture but I'm just wanting at the moment to create the shape of him like this so he's got a big bum big tummy because obviously he's a puppy and it's called puppy fat for a reason <laughs> um we don't want a skinny puppy no we want a nice rounded one so that is basically the body done and that will sit maybe on your styrofoam board to dry um and then we're going to start on the legs I'll be right back. Okay, I've rolled a smaller ball and I've added some Tylos or uh, Um and I'm going to create the legs. So a Bichon has chunky legs. Um, so we're going to roll this into a sausage. Okay evenly as we can don't worry it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't but um, as long as it's relatively even so that all the legs are kind of the same size that's what we're after we can always trim or roll again don't worry if you get it wrong you start all over again it doesn't matter it's only fondant <laughs> okay don't be afraid of it so I've rolled my sausage shape out and I want four these will be trimmed again but I'm, I'm going to cut them and I've got them on a, a board here one two it's got little squares so kind of one two three four five six eight nine ten so if we go in half at first, 
round about <laughs> and then two and a half two and a half see I'm being precise here but normally I wouldn't <laughs> I would just do it okay so put those aside for a second and we're just going to start with this first one all right so we're just going to just smooth in these edges and just take it sorry take it like that all right so that's around about the right size relatively so but what we do is we need to sorry about this we're just narrowing it off narrowing it off like that okay and what I do is I tend to press it down <laughs> so we're keeping this shape at the bottom of its leg but then we're tapering off so it looks as if it's going into the body okay so I bring my Bichon body over and can you see how it's taking shape like that so I'm going to add the first leg I'm using actually um, Tylos powder glue so on the underside I'm just going to place a little bit of that and I'm just going to face it towards me I'm sorry just so I can see how it's coming along as I want it Okay. And I'm just going to push this in. Push it in. Okay. Like that. So it's got nice padded feet. Like that. Oh. Now again we're going to be adding texture later. So I'm going to repeat the process and put the next leg on, but rather than bore you. I'll do it off camera. I'll be right back. So I've put the other um, leg on and I'm going to do the back legs now. So I've turned it to its side so that you can see. So using the fondant that we cut earlier, I'm just going to do the same process, thinning in the one end like so. But this one's slightly different because what we're going to do is just going to smoothen off that base. Okay. Um, this one's going to be slightly different okay because once we make it into a tube like that we're turning it all right I mean you can put creases in but right now at this stage we don't need to because we're going to add texture to it later so um, this is just to give us so I'm putting a little bit of glue on there okay or water and then we're going to just place that down and smooth it with your finger like so and I'll just face it towards you if I can like that and we're just going to push that one in ever so slightly sorry if I'm in your way like that and again, I'm going to repeat the process and put the final leg on this side. Two minutes. Okay, I've put the other back leg on. And I've just basically left that to dry for about, well, it's been about 10 minutes. I would leave it a little bit longer usually. But as this is the tutorial and I want to get through it, um, I'm, I'm doing it a bit quicker. But maybe 20 minutes might be better. So I'm just going to move that to the side. And I've got some white fondant again I'm going to add some texture now so I'm just kneading it first and uh, I'm going to add a little bit of oil or you can use mm, uh, vegetable oil or vegetable fat in the blocks if you want um, but you want something relatively clear not to change the colour of the 
fondant but I'm wanting to soften it and you'll know when you're ready <laughs> not too soft that it becomes totally wet don't add water because unfortunately that will just turn into a glue and you don't want that you just want the fondant to remain the same but soft okay so I've done that and I'm going to now roll it yeah here we go this is the fun bit <laughs> this is the bit I like I'm just rolling I'm turning I haven't got anything any powdered sugar or anything like that on it I'm all right I don't, I, I don't need it with it having oil in it it's not uh, sticking too much but don't roll it too thin otherwise you might have problems okay so I've got it how I want it about that thin you have to move relatively quickly so I'm going to bring my little Bichon in hello Bichon <laughs> and we're going to start at the back I've placed a little hole in there but I probably need to reinsert it and I've put a cocktail stick in the top for its head and uh, this is the fun bit <laughs> so I'm just checking size wise yeah okay a little bit more a little bit longer a little bit longer Whoa! that stuck to my rolling pin there <laughs> okay just checking you'll need a maybe a scalpel as well so I'm going to add some water to just the back of the Bichon not its legs at this point just the back of the Bichon a little bit of water like so I'm just checking I've got a yeah all right so put that around it like so and then press it down and then you don't have to do this you could do it all in one piece but I'm just cutting around I'm cutting around where the legs are and I push on and I can feel it I can almost feel where the legs are and I'm taking that off it doesn't matter really but uh, and I'm just gonna cut around the bottom I can smooth that off later and take that off and I haven't put water on there so it hasn't stuck to it all right okay and make sure that's stuck on and then we're going to add a little bit of texture I've got a ball tool here like that and I'm going to make indentations all the way around the Bichon's little body and you can push and prod I'm on a little strange angle here but <laughs> you know needs must that's come off a little but hey it don't matter you just push it on and the thing with the metal ball tools is because they're quite cool and they don't stick to the fondant as easy and we're just pressing in the indentations to give it the illusion and it's just an illusion of fur and I'm going to continue doing that off camera and I'll show you what to do next <laughs> 